In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply a constant times two binomials. There are really two ways to attack a problem like this that both work. The way I prefer is to first multiply the binomials together, and then we'll multiply the number out front through the resulting expression. Here, we're multiplying 3 times 2x minus 4 times x plus 5. I'll start by multiplying out the binomials first, keeping the 3 in front of the resulting expression. I'll go ahead and use FOIL to multiply these. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 5 is 10x. Distributing the negative 4 through gives us negative 4x and negative 20. When we combine the like terms in the middle, we get 3 times 2x squared plus 6x. 10x minus 4x is 6x minus 20. Now, all that remains is just to distribute the 3 through the parentheses. This gives us 6x squared plus 18x minus 60. And we have our final solution. We got that final solution by multiplying out the binomials first and then distributing the constant through at the end. However, we could have attacked this problem in a different way. We could have attacked this problem by distributing the 3 first. As we do, the 3 will only distribute into the first set of parentheses. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. The second parentheses must stay the same. Now, we can multiply together the resulting per binomials by using the distributing method or foiling, or any other multiplying method. Let's foil. 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times 5 is 30x. Negative 12 times 5 is negative 12x. And negative 12... I'm sorry, negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times 5 is negative 60. Finally, we can get our final answer by combining like terms in the middle, giving us the same answer again, 6x squared plus 18x minus 60. This second method to arrive at the same correct answer is found by first distributing the number into just the first set of parentheses, and then multiplying out the resulting binomials. Both ways work just fine on any problem.